Tag certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, if it were not for the importance of this information, this information would not be posted on this channel. Many people have accused my person and the organizations I founded of as sham scam organizations, and for what? We're not above those didn't misguided the stupid individuals and organizations to waste time talking about them. Would be to provide more carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide that is necessary for mankind to survive on this planet. It is really the simple, don't have to run a marathon in order to accomplish a simple task as gaining control of the securities in your account. If it were so complicated, pay attention to this. Then the people would have the right to complain. Government cannot block your access to government. They are prohibited from doing so via of the First Amendment right to petition for redress of grievance. Those of you who are SPAC members, please understand that we have just paid individual staff members over $7,000 to complete documents for, not ourselves, but for you. You should know that from the beginning until now I have not lied to a single one of you, as I told you, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses, not when it's comfortable, not when it's convenient. But 96 hours a day 785 days a year. The amount of stress that I'm under trying to get this done for all of you, trying to make sure that I provide you with the necessary information. And trying not to worry about those individuals we're taking what we are doing and trying to duplicate it, thinking that they can somehow piggyback with a little bit of notes, is moronic. Stupid and asinine, look it up. The documents we will be providing the members will be what we believe is necessary for you to notify me of your intent and of your ownership of the certificate of live birth. Notice I did not say this record, or authenticated birth record. If you paid attention to the requirements, it simply says to attached certified copy of the certificate of live birth. And it specifically stated that you can get this certified copy from the county registrar's office. It does not say and you have to take it to the Secretary of State. does not say and you have to take it to the Secretary of State or you have to send it to the Secretary of State for the United States or you did have to attach more items to it. Why? Because, dash, it's so simple even a caveman can do it. As we stated, shortly you all will start to receive emails let you know of where to return and how to return your original set pack. It must be in the conditions you received the set pack from our organization. If it is not in good condition, then the amount of credits in the bond will be reduced at the percentage of the reduced quality of the return. But what if I lost it? Then you will only receive 5% of the value of the bond and of the pack, as we told you these were investment securities on the so-called private site. Look up investment securities and DID look up the securities and look up private preferred stock. And then look up private securities and DID look up private corporate stock and DID look up private corporate securities to get a better understanding of what's been going on. Do not, and it deserves repeating, do not contact SETCOM hoping to get answers to your questions regarding the information contained in this communication. You will not receive a response to your questions directly, but will be told to be patient. I would suggest you hold your breath for as long as possible and by that time you should have the information you need. And no I'm not kidding. We have been training a new group of individuals with a corporation known as Amar Legion. Amar Legion will be there for anyone who has a claim against another party. No matter what type of corporation it may exist and or in whatever capacity it may exist, to act as a third party witness. Limited power of attorney debt collector on behalf of our client the creditor. They will send out all necessary documentation, verification of the debt as prescribed in statute, and demanding payment be made within the specified period of time. That he will communicate all communications to with the exception of the communications mailed out to the agencies, we have seven different templates and we will also be providing proof of service. Whether a mortgage, a student loan, a car loan, or any other type of transaction. We will provide our clients with the necessary documentation to send to the credit bureaus to have the amount of debt our clients have discharged, offset against any debt claimed by the debtor. There is no other organization out there doing anything of the sort, nor any organization attempting to help the people relieve themselves of a lot of stress. Everyone can see the financial meltdown that is coming, the services that will be provided will be at $580 to initiate and no other upfront cost will ever be required.
and if an amount is recoverable, 15% will go to the debt collector Amara Legion for the services rendered, not all at once, to be paid back over a period of time, and in this instance, such payment can even be by tax credits. We will be the first organization aside from the so-called federal government to accept verified tax credits as a means of payment. Verified tax credits are those credits one has documented on their tax filings. That concludes the update for the organization and PAC members. Now we will discuss the issue of minors, gaining control of the securities held in a minor account. The first thing you need to know, is there is no such thing as unlimited credit with reference to the minor account. That is some ignorance that has been spread about as a result to publications of some book based on some theory that some person had. Do you understand if everybody had unlimited credit there would be no credit system? That means there will be no limitations. What type of sense does that make? Do you not realize that there are limitations on the government? That's why the Constitution was put in place in the first place to place limitations on government. So the government could never grant you unlimited anything. The other logic is, if everybody had unlimited credit, there would be no economy, there would be no workforce, there would be no contribution to the system, for how could one make a profit? How could anyone ever get any work done? For instance, if you had unlimited credit, and your neighbor had unlimited credit, and his neighbor had unlimited credit, and everyone had unlimited credit, would you ever get any work done on your home? Repairing your automobile? Compensating your neighbor for damages or injury you accidentally caused them? If you have had a limited credit, that means you spend anything, it would cancel itself out. I am so sorry that people can't get these basic concepts. Even Donald Trump documented that the limit was under $10 million per year at his executive order. Ladies and gentlemen, unlimited credit on anyone who claims they have access or wants access to such a thing is for greedy people, and greedy people get what they deserve because they're selfish. Only interested in themselves and taking advantage of everyone else just so that they are satisfied. Are you a greedy person? Then you shouldn't be watching any of my videos. As far as the minor account, here is a simple Google search. I sent this email up to 83 plus individuals, and now I am providing the same information to all of you. Many of you have been stuck, you've been chasing law, rabbit holes, yet you should be following the rabbit, you just been chasing rabbit holes, leave the stupid rabbit and the rabbit holes alone. Stop chasing after something you will never be able to obtain, Willie Coyote. Go after that which is in your grasp, reaching for something that's beyond your reach is a fruitless endeavor, attention, it's beyond your reach, so why are you reaching for it? Stop trying to obtain that which you have no access to. Known as the following information. It's right there in front of you, you have access to it. Copy of email dash dash ladies and gentlemen, this is being sent out to several individuals. I don't have any groups and I will not and cannot promise that I will send any information in the future in this format. While I am no longer doing YouTube videos, and just prior to setting up my own channel on my own website that I control, I decided to share some information that I had not shared with anyone prior. There are some idiots out there who believe that I get information from others, and that's a shame. So, many of you have been asking how to do exactly what's contained in the search link that I've attached to this email, study it. I've talked to several people, and they want to add all of that junk that people have been adding to their stuff for years, and that too is a shame. People, it is so simple that even a caveman could do it. That wasn't just a slogan on a commercial, that was them telling all of you, that it's not that complicated, that it is simple. They can't make it complicated, if they did you could call foul. Notice, that people set up minor accounts all the time, and so it has to be a process for closing a minor account. For removing a minor account. For gaining control of a minor account. We don't find that information with the treasury, we find that information among the general principles and procedures. So, stop adding all that other junk to this, this has nothing to do with that. You don't have to fly to Bermuda, you don't have to go scuba diving. And you don't have to take a flight with Jeff Bezos just to be able to gain access to your funds and securities held in your minor account. Everybody thinks that there's got to be something special they need to do in order to gain control. The only special thing you need to do is follow the procedure that's already in place. 
Don't add your own junk to the procedure that's already in place. You'll only make things more difficult for you. They're not going to change the system. If they change the system, then it will affect everyone, including the brokers and the other people who have been using the same system for years. If you find something of benefit, why not share it? As far as the minor account, can you close a custodial account? Pocketsons. This. This link is in the description. The information about closing the minor account and gaining control has been there the whole time. It's just no one ever bothered to look, so do your research. Here is the search that I put in and I promise you, you will gain a lot from this. The link is in the description. When I'm referring to, if you find something, why not share it? I am not saying, if you found some basic information. What I'm saying is if you find some vital information. People do not realize we are all in this together. All of you keep taking sides. I am so grateful that I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses that I don't take sides. Don't play politics. Don't care about Democrats, Republicans, Fascists, Nazis. Or any other junk, right wing, left wing, or spicy wings. Who cares? None of the junk is important. Russian, Ukrainian. People that's a distraction, stop focusing on the junk, look at the other things that's going on behind the scenes. That's what they're trying to distract you from, COVID cases rising in Hong Kong but going down every place else so what are they really getting ready to do? Gas prices are going up, but it has nothing to do with oil futures, which is a two month gauge. In other words, people, do not understand how oil works? Oil futures are the predictive scale as to what prices for oil and gasoline will be two months down the line. So if something happens today it cannot affect gas prices today. It can only affect them two months from now. So how is it possible for Russia to invade Ukraine and prices go up immediately? Don't try to explain it. That's not how it works. There is something known as the New World Order. Russia is not doing anything that it has been given the authority to do. That's why nobody is trying to stop them. Stop believing these United Nations hearings. Stop believing what the news is telling you. They are distracting you. And finally, they talk about inflation. If there is no money, then how can it be inflation? Because they created an economy. Which is exactly the point I made earlier as to why there can't be unlimited credit. I am not all knowing, but what I do know is these basic truths presented here. You don't have to go all around the world and I, I, I searching for anything. All you have to do is ask the right questions. So how do you ask the right questions? You think about how the government would word it. You think about how a judge would say it. You think about how a lawyer would say it. You think about how somebody who thinks they're intelligent will say it and you put the question in Google. Google algorithm oftentimes is not to give you the answer immediately. However, Google makes its money off its reputation, that of being the number one search engine in the world. So rely on their greed, and understand that the answers are, the X-File says, out there, 